Okay, so what we're going to work on now is part two of our video series on getting the application working. And what we're going to work on is the saving the images to a custom directory and still allowing them to be put into the gallery. Now, the original way you were saving was just fine. It worked. There was no need to actually redo it. You did a good job. But the issue I had was when it was time to build the gallery, our custom gallery, that the way you were saving it put it directly into the when you save an image it put it directly into the camera roll um, of the of the phone so when I try to pull up the gallery it pulls up all of the images I want to have a separate folder separate location for our image but still allow it to be able to be viewed in the uh, regular gallery the, the normal user interface gallery but in our custom gallery as well and if this wasn't possible then I wouldn't care but I've seen apps like Instagram on my phone have a separate folder separate directory with images in there but then when I go to pull up my camera roll I see the Instagram images there as well so it's like wow how do they do that I figured it out and we can do it here together okay so in order to make this possible um, you have to have of course in your manifest you have to have the um, permission to access the SD card but uh, other than that once you have that the rest is easy here we go so instead of having a bunch of code I actually made a let's see if we can show that here where is my here we go okay so what I've done is I've made a different a separate Java file to handle all the code just like you got my drawing view in its own Java file instead of having it in your uh, original paint activity here uh, I did the same thing with the save um, here and the same thing we did with the color dialog as well so here is the save code simple what we do first is get the actual image that's on the canvas that the user is seeing right now and turn it into a bitmap that we can use all right, grab that image, make it a bitmap, and then I take the, I make an instance of this Java file, a container, a birth of this Java file uh, called save that I created here, and I call it save. Make a new version of it there. Now what I do is take the save and run a method that I've been that I've built into that uh, Java called the save image and then I give it the context like who the heck is calling it and then the actual image feed it those two inside of there and then I'm done now what is, this does all the heavy lifting let's take a look at that alright so you see I got some private uh, variables here in the beginning this is pretty cool but you can change them as you want I uh, first set the context of this I call it the this the context which is uh, the guy who called it, who was the one that the user physically sees, it's that guy. All right, and then uh, oh, this next string, this is the directory that we're creating, right? So that's going to be on the SD card, whatever you want to call it. And then this is the file name of each individual file. Each, uh, uh, you'll see how I created the file name, but this is the prefix to each individual file. All right, so when you, when you run this code here, first I set the context to the context that was called to the this. Then I make a new string, and I call it the file path. What I want to get is the directory of the uh, SD. What the heck is the SD card? What do they call it? Some call it MMS backslash directory, something like that. Whatever your phone calls your directory, give me the name of that for the external directory. And then uh, uh, give me that name plus my directory name. So it's going to be like MMSC backslash SSD card backslash uh, paint, you know? So then what I want to do is I want the current time and date. Uh, the reason why I do that is so that we can attach it to the name of this file and we can name this uh, paint a paint image 
you know, underscore seven o'clock, twenty twelve, that kind of thing. And then, so I got the current time and date, but I'm not doing anything with it yet. Let's look at the method that gets the time and date, which is pretty cool. Here it is, right here. When it's provoked, it says uh, it's a return, and it returns a string. What I do is pull up the calendar. Then I set a format for the time and date, and I want the year, month, day, hour, minutes, and seconds. And then give me that format in that way. And then feed me back that string. Now that string comes back here. All right, and now what I do is I make a new file with just the file directory. Just the directory, not the actual image. All right. So now after I try after I set up the directory, I want to create the directory. What I do is say, hey, if this directory I just named does not exist, then make it for me, please. All right. So now we ensure that the directory exists. Now we want to make the file. What I do is say, here's a new file. Uh, it's called file for now, and it is the directory and the name of the uh okay you wait the directory the name of the image plus the current date and time plus dot jpeg this file is going to be a jpeg when it's done this is just the name of the stuff it has no bits or nothing inside of it now i try to stuff the data the zeros and ones into this image file if you think of it as like a text document we just named it now we actually want to put physical words in there text we have to surround that to try and catch because if it fails, uh, we don't want it to crash the app. So now this code here is what opens up a file stream that creates the bits. Then I take the image and compress it into bits. And then I go ahead and try to clean out those bits to make sure that the file is created properly. Then I close out the uh, file, physically making it a real file. Now it's done. Now it's made. Up to this point, it's made. It's ready to go. And then after it's made, I go ahead and, and run a code called, uh, I was able to save it. This just pulls up the toast. Let's look at this code here. I skipped this, but we can look at that in a minute. But this just shows a toast of the picture was saved correctly. All right. So the picture was saved correctly. Um, show that to the user and go ahead. If none of this works, right, if this, if it, if this crashed or this crashed or this crashed or this crashed, this will never show up because the catch is show here and then unable to save a pop-up which is this toast say I was unable to save the picture all right so now let's talk about this line of code here now now it's created it's saved and users saw a toast that the image was saved to the directory successfully all that worked all that works just fine so what the heck do we need this code for what this the does and it took me so long to figure this out. I, I thought I had to read the EXIF data. I tried so many different things. After I created the image, uh, it still wouldn't show up in the user's camera roll. When they open up the, say they close our app, they're out of our app, say they open up Instagram. I want our image that we made to show up in Instagram as an option to upload to Instagram or Facebook. When you open up Facebook. It, it, Facebook asks for the camera roll. If our picture's not in the camera roll, then we can't use it. All right. So the good thing about having the time and date stamp is that it organizes each picture by the time and date, which is awesome. But it's still not showing up in the camera roll. What this does is make that possible, pretty much. What it does is uh, it makes Android operating system scan that directory to figure out what type of files are in there and then put its sort of cache of memory of what kind of files are there and know what to do with that. If it sees a bunch of MP3s, it knows it's music. If it sees a bunch of images, it knows it's images in there. If it sees, you know what I mean? So that's what this line does. And now that Android knows that there's an image in there, there's our images in there, now it will treat that um, directory as one that can be shown in the camera roll unless in that directory we put another file in there that says do not ever show this directory in the camera roll but that's a different program for a different day a different line of code for a different day alright so now let's watch this code in action let's go ahead and run this 
and I'll open up the app here. Now, you know what? Oh, it's not running. You know, before I open it, let's show some proofs first. If you look at the phone here, um, oh, let's go back. All right, now if you look at the gallery, there, uh oh, go back. There is no folder on this gallery, let's cancel this, called whatever this name is here. Well, you know what? I can name it something else too as well, and you can do it as well. This is what the directory is going to be called, and there's no images with this name. So there's proof that that doesn't exist. And if we open up one more app, my file explorer, it also shows this. We're looking at the SD card here. What did I say? MM, MMS is M, M, MNT. There's no, if we look alphabetical order for AM, we don't see none of that there. All right. Now let's go ahead and go back to the home screen here. And now let's run this code. All right, should be running in one second here. Pretty fast on a real phone. <coughs> There's no editing tricks or nothing there. All right, so if we color a little bit here, and I want to make it bright color so we can see it. Oh no, you might not be able to see it with bright colors. Let me. So I'll use B, B. Okay. And we know that this is. Let's pick something random here. We know that this didn't exist before. I don't want to do um, stuff that that may look pre-rendered, you know. All right, so oh, then we'll see all my notifications. Now let's go ahead and uh, save this. Hit the menu button and hit save. Picture saved by save. What the heck? What did I put for that? Save by save. Picture was saved by save. Yes, I did put that there. Oh well, that's what you get. Picture was saved successfully. You know what I meant. All right, now if we go to our import, watch this. Import, choose existing image because this is a new image saved. We should see cross your finger. There it is, that new folder. Oh, that new folder with the image. We go in that folder. There's only one image in there. And as a matter of fact, if I go back, back, and back to close the app, go to our gallery. There it is there. And if we go to this here, there should be a new directory. Oh, it's not there. Maybe I gotta refresh this. What the heck did I just do? I don't see it. Hold on. Don't tell me this is an epic fail on camera. There he is. Hello. <laughs> and then if I go back to our I'm gonna hold the home key here. Go back to the app. Let's make a new canvas here, and let's draw some more. Give it some color. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Save this. Picture was saved by saved. <laughs> and uh, I'll leave that up to you to fix that. And let's go to. Let's get out of here, and open up the gallery. Not only, now check that out, not only is that directory there, but it's in order from the last picture that we drew to the oldest, newest one, the oldest. And that was what the time and stamp and date did for us. And there they are. And also, one more quick check. Looking at directory, oh, there's only one, oh my god. No, we gotta refresh it. And there it is. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and rename this folder back to the way it was before so that when I give you this code it is in the original form and what I want to do is run that line of code that should work on the phone in just a couple seconds no editing nothing there and then uh, save this let's put Jeff oh, let's make a new canvas here color Jeff is the man. All right, and then we can save that. Now, if we close this app out, go to our gallery, there should be a new folder there. 
with the right name and we had the wrong name on that folder look at that and there's the image there make it big we can look at it and what I want to do is have I'm not I'm still debating on how we're gonna do our gallery but I want to I want to see if we can if it's easier to make our own gallery right or see if we can invoke this gallery to show exactly right here and just have all our images down there I don't know we'll see how it goes oh you can't see sorry yeah there you go so there we have it so the next video should be on uh, the importing I mean jeez uh, uh, not importing what what the heck was the next video I'm gonna show you give me one moment preferences that's the next video next video gonna be on preferences uh, I did something pretty cool with that I'm really surprised on what I got done with that what I found that was possible the way that you invoke your preferences screen is a little it's orthodox that's the problem it's too regular I don't know how to explain it I wish it was just another screen right it's not a new intent for a new screen it's uh, an Android